press the disengagement lever. Check that the anti-siphon arms move towards the syringe. Release the disengagement lever. Check that the anti-siphon arms are moving partially back. Check that the arms are symmetrical and in contact. Press the plunger head detection finger. A click is to be heard. Check that the anti-siphon arms are moving back towards the plunger driver. Control the disengagement and plunge your head alarms. On the left side are the parts related to the pressure measurement. We will not remove these parts. On the right side are the parts related to the disengagement. We will remove these parts. Let's see how it works by placing only the blue disengagement lever. Pressing the disengagement lever rotates the plunger arm axis and the left helico lever. The movement of its grooves leads to the left rotation of the black gear and its forward movement. The black gear rotates the white gear to the right. Check that the four springs are correctly positioned. Keep the flange in contact with the pusher while screwing. 